it's all white outside. And I'm not referring to the race. I'm talking about the snow. My name is Van der Puchert and this is Finding Frequency. Poland has blessed us with more snow. Um, the flurries are coming in and things are definitely looking quite wintry. Temperature has dropped to 7, minus 7. Or oh, that's what the weather forecast said. I didn't dare go outside today and we are expecting a minus 14 over the weekend. So we are quite excited to potentially go and explore a little bit of snowiness with Francie uh, over the weekend when we all have a little bit of time. But we'll see if that plays out. It's usually a little bit more pleasant when there's snow outside and hopefully if the wind subsides a little bit, we could take a bit of a break and get some fresh air, which I think we all need. That said, uh, it's a bit tough. Francie is still sick. Uh, we're not getting a lot of sleep at the moment. I'm feeling tired and really cranky. Um, not even coffee is helping at the moment. Had to postpone my uh, my planned staged event because of a headache, but uh, nothing stopping me to do some work. Um, some exciting prospects on the on the horizon. Some collaboration that I'm excited about, and I need to put some shoulders to the wheel to move it forward. So I'm excited about it, but. Uh, I've been uh, thinking about sharing something with you that uh, I was shared, but that was shared with me um, earlier the week. I had a meeting with a, a friend of mine in the United States, and for, for some reason, when I speak to American folks at the moment, we always tend to drift towards what is going on there. Um, they just seem to be hogging the the news waves at the moment. But um, there's always, of course, in us this whole thing about you know, uh, two sides to a story, what's going on, what, you know, who can you really rely on and, you know, where's the real truth? But uh, he brought up something that I thought was interesting and it was actually shared to him by his wife uh, and we had a bit of a chuckle and then I thought even though it's kind of simple and sometimes I get uh, lots of negative feedback from, um, I wouldn't say it's clients, it's, it's people that uh, luckily don't become clients or people who I should not be working with where they feel like sometimes I am I tend to oversimplify thing and I think simplify things and I think sometimes our ability to overcomplicate things is actually worse because um, within overcomplication of aspects and things that we do uh, we get confused and that uh, makes us or forces us not to take action and uh, I want to read this little piece that I got from my friend. I don't know who the reference or who the source was who wrote this. And I should probably have checked that. But uh, I kind of like where this goes. Um, and it's in reference with what happened. But I think it's a, it's a good rule of thumb. A very, very good rule of thumb that you need to keep in mind. So um, I'm reading. If I'm attending a local demonstration or event and I see a Nazi... Neo-Nazis, casual Nazis, master race Nazis, or even the latest whatever uber mythology Nazis, I figure out which side they are on. And if they are on my side of the demonstration, I am on the wrong side. It's tough to argue moral equivalence when I am standing next to a Nazi. Look, look to my right, is there a guy wearing a 6M WE, 6 million was enough t-shirt? I'm on the wrong side. Look to my left. If that guy is wearing a Camp Auschwitz t-shirt, wrong side. Our speakers being applauded for referring to things that Hitler got right, wrong side. Team spirit face paint and hat with animal horns. This is actually un an unclear indicator. That could mean anything, but safest to keep my distance from that guy anyway, even at a football game. However, I can always, always, always rely on the presence of Nazis as a guiding light through a fog of disinformation. Some, some things are relative, and politics can absolutely have its opposing sides and grey areas. But evil and good are op absolute, absolute. sorry. As are the lessons of history. So just look for the Nazis and make your own decision. So I thought that was quite interesting. We had a laugh, but in the simplicity, there is such a huge, huge truth. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're not clear and you understand and you've heard all the complexities, 
Look around you. Is there any Nazis? And then you ask yourself, are they on the other side or on your side? That'll give you a clear indicator if you're doing the right thing. I'll take that to heart. Thanks for listening.